Hey guys, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a double Walmart grocery pickup haul. I have two grocery orders to share with you over the course of a little over two weeks. I've kind of been saving them up. So in today's video, I have grocery hauls, I have a little bit of food prep, and then if I have any awesome or amazing easy recipes or all of the above, I will also add that at the end. Now what I will say is in my day in life videos, if you watch those, I will typically share our meals throughout the day. So you can go back and watch those. I will not reshare those in today's video. So anyways, we've been using Walmart grocery pickup for a long time now. And of course we have been taking advantage of it a lot lately with everything that is going on in the world. And with that, I feel like you need to give them just a little bit of grace as far as what they actually do have in stock and what they do not. So we've kind of just been making do with what we receive. I will typically just accept any substitutions, but you can obviously choose that anyway. So I think that's it. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Let's start off with a grocery haul. We just got back from picking up our Walmart grocery order and this I have to say is the largest grocery order I think we have ever <laughs> done. So we have groceries over here and then we also have things over here. So I tried to organize them the best that I could but we're just going to kind of roll with it so I can get them all put away. But here we go. So we have lots of the produce over here. We have grapes, Caesar salad. I get this every single time. It's literally our favorite. Our whole family eats it. Try the Caesar salad if you haven't already. Some shredded lettuce. We like to use that on just sandwiches, tacos. Just really nice to have on hand for anything really. A couple of onions, some strawberries, two packages of those. I did not order this corn on the cob. I I don't even think it's in season right now. So I checked my receipt. I didn't pay for it, but it it was in my trunk. So we might make that tonight. I'm not sure, but there's five ears of corn here. Baby carrots, two packages of those. Good for lunches. Package of pears. We love pears. Some potatoes. I think we're going to have some baked potatoes tonight. Bananas and a big bag of apples. I put this, I don't know why this is over here, but I wanted to get something that I could have in the afternoons, like when I'm like, after I put the boys down and I just want to relax for a little bit, I thought this tea would be great to have, so I'm going to put that by my Keurig. Lots of bread products, well not a ton really, a loaf of bread for the kids. We like this Pepperidge Farm whole grain, my husband and I, so that's for us. Also got these sandwich thins right here. These will be good for our turkey sandwiches for lunch and just good to mix things up. And then we both really like bagels. Some canned fruits, they did not have much available. So this is kind of what we got. Three of these like smaller cans of the mandarin oranges. Some more pizza sauce. Some lemon juice, we like to use this when we're grilling and we just haven't had it in so long. So got that to stash in our fridge. Frozen items, we have a couple of bags of corn. I love the steam fresh bags. That's like the only way to go nowadays. Some crinkle cut french fries. We prefer a different one, but they did not have it. So this will do, it'll be totally fine. Some meatballs, we'll do like spaghetti and meatballs one night. Wanted to try these, so I picked up these. They're part of the frozen section, but just some little mini quiches. We don't make quiche, so I thought this would be kind of a good introduction to it. So we'll see. Tater tots. I have been trying to get these for weeks, and I saw they were finally in stock. So added those to my cart. Yogurt for the kids. They really like this Paw Patrol yogurt. Cotton candy and strawberry. So we got that. As well as a big package of go -Gurts. They also really love the Jolly Rancher kind. Um, these are just a fun treat for the kids with the M&Ms, so I thought they would get excited about that. It's all about the little things right now. The excitement we get out of groceries is pretty funny. Some elbow macaroni. We make a really yummy macaroni and cheese on my husband's smoker, so I like to have that on hand and they haven't had it for a while. Ice cream cups. We got a big thing of ice cream and I thought the kids would really love to make our own ice cream cones at home. I cannot remember the last time I bought those. Some cracker items, we have some Cheez-Its, and my kids are obsessed with club crackers. 
goldfish, a giant one of those. What else do we have? Shredded cheese. We were basically completely out of shredded cheese. So I got two of the cheddar, two of the mozzarella. We have some pepperoni. Hot dogs, good for grilling season. Pretty hard to come by ground beef right now and our freezer is getting low on lots of our meats. So I just picked up one of these for now. I, I've always wanted to try this kind anyway, so got that. But whenever we buy ground beef, it's always the 85% lean. So my husband will like that too. A big thing of ice cream, it's my hubby's weakness. And I figure with, you know, the warmer months ahead, it'll be good to just have this in the freezer. A couple of sugary cereals for the kids. Well, Fruit Loops and Lucky Charms this time. I rarely buy Lucky Charms because my kids will just pick the marshmallows out, but they've done a good job lately, so I told them I would get them another box. We go through these so fast with four kids. Um, another little treat for them, some mini chocolate donuts. And for me, who am I kidding? I love the little chocolate donuts. We have a bag of pretzels. Recently, I used to buy the store brand, but then they substituted the rolled gold and now I will not go back to the store brand because these are just so much better. Let me know if you think the same, but bag of the stick pretzels, good for lunches or snacks. I figured I would put these in my pantry for like a weekend morning, well any morning really. We could make blueberry muffins. The kids just love to help me bake. So that's just like an easy thing we can do together. Some granola bars. These I would say are probably our favorite granola bars ever. So just another box of those. I thought these would be good to have on hand for if we're just grilling something, we can make this as a side and everybody is happy. Dried apricots, my husband really likes these as a good little snack. This, I don't know why it's over here, but apple juice. We really love lemonade in the warmer months and so these are just a quick thing we can make together again. And then I thought these would be a good thing to get just if we want to do like a breakfast sandwich or a lunch with these. And then over here, generally I will let the kids pick one thing every week that they want to make sure I get. Macy requested Doritos, so she loves these little bags. And I do too, they're just, I mean, convenient. So I got the one with the Doritos and the Cheetos. So everybody is happy. I think Madden picked candy. I'm gonna have to go dig something out, I think. <laughs> out of my stash, hint, hint. Anyways, also eggs. Egg prices have gone up, I have noticed. And so we didn't get as many as we normally would, but got eggs. And then the boys actually really like egg whites in the morning, so we're gonna give these a try. I don't know if I've ever bought egg whites in a carton, but hopefully it's the same as using an egg. I don't know. We'll see about that. I'm not quite sure, but I thought, you know what? We're gonna try it because sometimes eggs are even hard to get right now. Milk, this is probably not enough either, but I didn't wanna go too overboard. But 2%, a whole milk and a skim for just different family members prefer different things. Lunchables for the kids. We got four of the cheese pizza Lunchables. Also a fun, exciting lunch for them. Finally got my coffee creamer, so oh happy day. I've been missing this badly, so I was so excited to get that. That's like my happiness right here. Some more butter, some sour cream, and a big bag of sugar. I could not get flour, it was either sold out or they just don't offer it for grocery pickup anymore. But at least I got my sugar, so I'm gonna keep trying to get some flour now for more baking. We've been doing a lot of that. Mom picked out a couple, or I did couple of treats. I actually got one of these last week during my grocery pickup. Cannot find it anywhere. I didn't eat it. The kids say they didn't. I don't know. No one's claiming that they ate it. So I don't know. I just got another Cadbury egg and this is to fill up my little cookie jar. And then two non-grocery items. We've been going through so much tape with just different projects and the kids steal it for all kinds of things. So I just picked up a pack of tape. And to make baths a little bit more exciting right now, I just got a bubble bath. Now for just a little bit of food prep as I call it, but just pouring all the things from the larger containers into ones that fit better into our pantry. The goldfish, there's a clear one that we always pick up and fill this bin with. And then the other one that I really like is a smaller size and I use that one for pretzels. 
This one is so much easier for the kids just to carry around the house because they are pretty much snacking all day constantly. So I really like this size. I will typically pick up these bins one by one whenever I go to like Home Goods or TJ Maxx. They're a really good price there. But also just boiling some eggs. I love to keep these on hand in a refrigerator. So for the kids, if they want like a quick breakfast or snack or even like a little mini side on like their lunches, I will use those there. So just boil the eggs. I filled it with ice water after about 15 minutes. And then once the ice is melted completely, that's typically my sign that it's time to peel and they just peel so easy. Next up, I am just slicing all of the strawberries. Again, just makes things so much easier when it is actually time to eat. I also feel like my produce, I don't know, we go through it a lot quicker when I have it prepared and ready to go. It's much easier to grab like a bowl of strawberries ready to eat rather than something that's maybe not as healthy from the pantry, if you know what I mean. This is our second grocery haul now that I will be sharing in today's video. This one is a little bit smaller than the first one, definitely. They also had quite a few things that they either canceled or substituted. Usually substitutions are good, so I don't reject those. I will usually just take what I can get at this point. Let's jump into the haul though. So we have strawberries. I ordered two, they only gave us one. We go through them so fast, so two would have been ideal, but you know, we make things work. Apples, another bag of those. Red potatoes, I'm going to try to make a potato salad this weekend since we're going to be grilling and smoking. And so that's kind of my new recipe I wanna try. So I'm probably share that in this video. Caesar salad, we get one of these every single week. It's just so good. Celery, I believe for the potato salad and just for you know snacks and lunches. Avocado, my hubby loves avocado toast. So that green onion, I believe that's also for the potato salad. A thing of eggs cutie oranges so produce can be especially fruit can be super expensive right now so some like staples that are more like budget friendly that we get every single time or when we need them at least cuties apples a big bag of pears and bananas like those are kind of my go-to fruit items right now for the kids because they're just a little bit cheaper than some of the other things so we generally will always get those lots of bread here so this is the bread my hubby and i like and then i got two for the kids and so I'll probably put one in the freezer till we need it and stash one in the pantry. But we go through bread so fast. If I have to make four sandwiches, I mean, that's like a half a loaf in itself. So generally always get two if I can. This week we're getting the Oreo yolk crunch as a little treat for the kids. Kind of just fun to mix that up. This is yogurt for my hubby, the Greek light vanilla. Another thing of butter to have on hand. Just some lunch meat for sandwiches. And then I have been trying to buy like a pound of ground beef each week just because we're kind of going through our meat stash in our freezer really quickly. So got that one. This was actually a substitution. I had ordered a 85 lean and I think they gave me the 93. So that worked out because this one was more expensive. We have a whole chicken here. This is completely frozen. My husband wants to smoke this. So I'm not sure if we're doing that this weekend or if, when, so I'm not sure if I'll share that, but more to come on that, I am sure. Just some more brown sugar for baking. Lots of milk back here, stocking up on milk. 
We have War, I don't, I never say this right. Worcestershire, War, I don't. I can never say this right, but we've had a lot of recipes asking for this. And so I went ahead and got this. This is a larger bottle than I was anticipating, but that's okay. A mayonnaise, I believe this is for the potato salad and well, just for sandwiches too. Applewood rub, this is one of my hubby's go-to for smoking. We like to use it on ribs and I believe all kinds of other things. I'm not the expert, but he just asked that I would get more of that one. Salt. The kids did a craft project yesterday and now we're low on salt, so we just got more of that. These are a fun treat for the kids to put on their like ice cream, so got that. What else? Grape jelly for sandwiches. These were kind of a, I had searched for these cherries and then these also came up. I was like, I've never tried canned dark sweet cherries before. So they were kind of expensive. I think it was like $3 for this can, but I'm like, they sound good. I love cherries. I must try them. So we got those. Some biscuits for a recipe. Some chocolate chips. This is actually the jumbo size bag. I figured we might as well just stash away and have a bunch ready for baking while we're at home. Some more cottage cheese. Good for lunches. Another apple juice. I'll just stash this away in the pantry because we have not finished our other one. We have warmer weather ahead. So these are a fun treat I'm going to stick in the freezer. Is that, did I say a warm treat? A cold treat for the kids on these warm days we have coming up. Broccoli, some freezer bags of broccoli, and then donuts, this fun treat of the week. You can see they already broke into it as soon as we got home. And then Gatorade, this was actually a substitution. These are like jumbo bottles, but this was Madden's one pick of the week that he said he wanted to get, so blue Gatorade for him. A few non-food items. Toothpaste, this is not the one I typically use. The one that I use, you cannot get it on like the grocery pickup. So I just got like a small one of these for now. I'm hoping that I'm gonna send my husband at some point in the next couple of weeks to get the kind that I actually prefer. But I figured we'd try something new in the meantime. And then deodorant, mama was getting low. So I went ahead and just got two. So I'll stash one away and have one ready to go. I love this Dove Advanced Care is the deodorant that I will typically get. So, yeah, I think that's it for groceries this week. This actually is not grocery item related, but it was in my grocery pickup order, so I thought I would share this with you, but I'm just kind of planning out my gardening and stuff like that, so I, you can order potting soil in your grocery pickup, which I thought was really cool. I couldn't get the, the garden seeds though, so I'm going to have to figure that all out, but I did get all of like my potting soil that I will need. Dinner tonight, I made an oldie but a goodie. I just didn't have a ton of time to dedicate towards cooking tonight, so I made tater tot casserole. I have a super old video that I can link below if you're interested. It's like four or five ingredients. It's super easy and it's really good. It's kind of a classic. And then the kids and I also made these brownies. We just made a box brownie mix and added some mini M&Ms on the top, so it looks so good. This next meal I'm sharing with you was something I actually made for the kids and I for lunch one day. I used some leftover pizza sauce that I had, crescent rolls, some pepperoni, as well as some mozzarella cheese. And I actually didn't plan to make this. I had on my meal plan to do French bread pizzas, but of course they canceled the French bread off of my order, so kind of had to roll with it, and no pun intended, that's kind of funny actually, but um, kind of rolled with it and decided to try these. I actually just Googled something I cannot even remember and found this recipe, and it turned out really good, but my kids love to dip like anything. They just love to dip things into sauces, ranch, whatever, and so this was actually perfect, and it was really yummy, so I just laid out all of the crust it rolls on the pan added in my pepperoni and cheese rolled them up and then served them with the sauce on the side and I will tell you there were no leftovers here so 
So in today's video, I'm sharing this easy lunch idea and then also a salad that I made out of my new cookbook. But outside of that, a lot of the meals I shared in my day in the life videos, we tried a chicken parmesan that was incredible. I will link that vlog above if you wanna go back and watch that one. So, so good. So just a really quick and easy lunch idea for you if you are looking to mix things up just a little bit. But the next recipe I'm actually trying is a side and it is a potato salad recipe out of the new Magnolia Table Cookbook. I will link the cookbook below. But I wanted to show off this little chopper here. I had actually gotten this for Christmas and I used this so much, especially for this recipe. I think I used it for the celery, the green onion, the potatoes, and the egg so I will most definitely link this below I think this is going to be great for so many different salads for the spring and summer if you do have this cookbook I would say this recipe is worth a try it was really good outside of my potatoes that were a little bit crunchy I made a rookie mistake and did not test my potatoes but I guess you kind of live and learn. But anyways, it was really good and we enjoyed this all weekend long with all the things that we grilled. One final recipe to share with you is on my husband's Traeger Grill. He's obsessed, which most of you already know. He pulls a lot of his recipes off of their website, but we're trying the apple juice brined barbecue pulled pork. He put a lot of time and prep into this meal. So this is about the halfway point on the smoker, but we're going to make barbecue pulled pork with this and it just smells amazing. Can you smell that? I know some of you have requested more in detail recipe or cooking videos in regards to his smoking of ribs or anything for that matter. So if that's something that interests you, please let me know in the comments below. To go along with that, we also made the corn on the cob. If you set it on your grill, rotate it for about 15 to 20 minutes, you will never have corn any other way. All right, my friends, thank you so much for watching. If you like grocery hauls, new recipes, food prep, all of the above, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new here and stick around. I would love to have you here on my channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.